and welcome here at macOS 10 screencasts.com. This week I'm going to review Prismo. Prismo is an OCR application, a scanning application, an image improving application for your Mac, also for your iPhone. Um, I really have to say it's very useful since it's installed on my uh, machine. I use it, I don't use it much, but when I use it, I'm so glad that, that it's just there, you know. Now, lastly, all I want to say is if you like my work, you might want to consider a donation. And to my knowledge, you don't even have to have a PayPal account. I wish you much joy watching the screencast. Until next time, bye. Once Prisma is started, we are presented with this welcome screen where we are invited to drop images into the application. Now you can import images in a couple of ways into Prisma. You can select some files from, from the media picker, or you could scan photos from your attached scanner. Now in my case, this is a brother, MFC, something. I won't do any scanning here because I prepared something and I think it's much quicker to show the app this way. So it says drop an image here, which I'm doing right now. Then takes us to this screen where we are asked to locate the grid corners. Now to actually mark the grid, we just click four times. The grid is basically a help for Prismo and you to select an image the way you took it from a perspective, for instance, from an angle, you can change the grid afterwards by going to the edge markers here and you see the change reflected in the preview. You can also make it entirely smaller and this looks pretty good already, I have to say. The text is nearly flat. I think we can work with this. The buttons on the bottom are mainly for correcting the image. In dimensions, Dimensions is cur currently set to automatic. We can also deselect this option. The whole menu becomes available and then we can set something like A5. You see the change already being reflected in the preview. But I go with automatic sizing in our case. The lens pane lets us select first and second radial distortion settings for a camera. These are cameras available on the current computer. I'll show later how to calibrate Prismo to your camera, but the process is really, really straightforward and very easy. In my case, Prismo has detected my camera already, which was in this case an iPhone 3GS. Now let's go to the image pane. In the image pane, we can influence how the output picture looks, like its contrast, brightness, sharpness. We can also set the image to binarize, which basically takes the picture and converts it to a black and white image, but I won't do this. The single best thing in this menu is basically this picker here, which basically sets a white point for the entire image, which is immensely helpful. Because the book page I've photographed is white, we see instantly how the preview looks now way better. I would recommend playing with the sliders until you're happy, but the binarized picker is in most cases a godsend. In case you need to scan a lot of similar pictures, like from a book, you might want to create a preset for the pictures so you can apply the changes more easily. This can be done by clicking here, then you give it a name like novel or something, and then just press return. And now it's available from the presets menu. You can also delete presets by clicking the minus symbol. Curvature is another useful function that corrects perspective. Think of it like this. Photographing pages with your iPhone is usually not that good. You're kind of shaky and almost never take a picture as straight as a scanner would do. To correct this, we can use the curvature feature. What this means practically, so I just enable this guy, is that you can take pictures from whatever angle you want and correct it later so that it becomes a, a nice tidy square image. Now we could do all the corrections from the pop-up, but we can also at least set the middle point straight from the image. Let me just close this window. Here you see that I can set the middle point also straight from the image. When I go back to the curvature, you see that we are now on the bottom, but we can also go to the top and move the middle point around from there as well. The up and down arrows 
to the side determine the curvature of the curvature. You see that when I click upwards, the line gets more straight to the top, and when I click downwards, it becomes this shape. In my case, curvature makes things worse. That's why I select to disable curvature correction. Now finally, we can save our work to a picture, or a picture format rather. When I go to the format pop-up menu, you see that all the PDF and extracted text options are disabled. This is because we didn't do any OCR. To complete this process, I select to save a JPEG to my desktop and then click Save. We are going to do the optical character recognition in the next chapter. Now Prismo's special feature is optical character recognition. You may know this function from other applications like Evernote or the iPhone app Prismo. It basically scans the image for letters and words and tries to convert the image to readable, copyable and pasteable text. To do this, we just have to open the OCR pane and select the language from the pop-up. English is right for this particular text. Binarization does the same as binarize under the, under the image does, but the difference is that this time binarization affects Prismo's optical character recognition engine and basically helps it to identify the letters and words more easily. Now let me just quickly set a binarization setting that looks good to our eyes. This is not going very good, okay. This way. This looks pretty good. When we're done, we just click Recognize Text. Prismo then thinks for a while and then we get these text boxes and when we hover with our mouse over them, we see the text that Prismo actually has identified. Here you see Prismo has made some mistakes. Yeah, here this text is pretty good. Sean D. And this is also right. So although it made a couple of mistakes, we can now go ahead and save this image file. When I click Save now and go to the Format pop-up, you see the other options with PDF and image and hidden text are available. Let me just quickly save the PDF text only. I call this the same as before. And now when I go to my desktop, I got this PDF here. And this is basically the text that the optical character recognition engine from Prismo has seen in the text. And it even has identified fonts, font size, bold text, and in this case also italic text. The other options do the following. You might wonder what PDF and the hidden text image option does. This basically saves the PDF. Now let me just quickly do this. When I open this image up now, you see this is the picture we have already seen in the binarization setting. But we now we can select text from here. You see that I'm selecting something from here. When I go to Edit, Copy, open up Text Edit, see the text that I actually copied to the clipboard. Lastly, the, the other options basically just save an RTF file or just a regular text file. In the last part of this review, I'll show how to calibrate Prismo to work with your camera. A DSLR, point and shoot, whatever, whatever you have. Go to Tools and select Calibrate Camera from this menu and the Calibration Assistant will open and guide us through the process, as it just says here. <laughs> Click Continue. Now Prismo uses a special pattern to identify the camera. Because it's better if you see what I'm doing, I go with the left option that displays the pattern on the entire screen. Now it is important to take a couple of pictures so that human mistakes are even evened out. Now let me just quickly show you this. This is the pattern, but I already took some pictures with my iPhone. So I simply select Continue and select those images that are sitting on my desktop. Click Open and now they are imported. Now to finalize our process, we just need to calibrate. Now as you see, two images are bad, but the other six are good. When done, I'd simply hit Continue 
And in the next option, we could choose to be social and share our calibration data with other Prisma users. It's important to note here that all the data gets sent anonymously. Only the camera calibration data is shared, nothing else. <laughs> By the way, you probably don't need to share your iPhone's calibration data. I think the creators are good with that camera. Then click Done, and you're set to apply your camera's calibration data to photos taken with that camera in the lens pane. The Prisma iPhone app is not entirely different. It basically lets you scan text, business cards, bills, and other texts. I'll go with text, take a picture from my camera, make sure it's lined up correctly. Yes, we want to use this picture. Now we have almost all the options from the desktop app as well. We can set the white point, the perspective, we can crop the image, which I'm going to do now. That looks good, crop. Now we have a smaller image. Perspective-wise, this almost looks good. So I'll go to OCR. Now again, there is a slew of languages available. In my case, this text is English, so I'll go with English. Then I'll optimize this text a bit. Let's say it should be like this. Then I click on optimize and then it, I click next. Now Prismo processes the image <coughs> and takes us to the next page where it presents us with the results. And comparing this to the text on the backside of this book, I have to say it is flawless. It's perfect. We could, oh no, there's one mistake here, but it's not a big one. These double quotes shouldn't be here. Now we're done. We can select next. Now we can read this. We can let Prismo read this to us by buying voices from the so-called voice store, but I'm not going to do this. We can also translate the text. We can copy the text, save the text to the image album, or just mail it to other people. Safe. I have to say that the Prisma iPhone app is very useful, especially the business card feature. The 10 times or so when I tested Prisma with the business card feature, it failed about two times only with, not with the, the entire business card, just a few fields that Prisma didn't recognize. So all in all, the Prisma iPhone app is a perfect companion to the desktop version.